Back to school. Normally, you think about that phrase in August or September, but it's been more than a year since Chicago Public High School students have walked the halls until today. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonio joins us live from the near north side. Suzanne. Erica, you know, we're at Walter Payton College Prep here, and the students and the parents that we spoke to, they say there's a lot of happiness which comes with the first day of in-person learning, but at the same time, there's quite a bit of adjustment. Walter Payton College Prep High School sophomore Harry Dobro it's pretty fun to sums see up his return to school this way. Although it's not normal, it, it feels like, like I'm back at home like I'm where I was a year ago. And that makes me more than more than ecstatic. He's very excited to come back to school, be with his friends. The biggest thing I think we missed over the past year was the socialization with the other students, particularly in such a developmental age. Chicago Public Schools CEO Janice Jackson says behavioral health teams are in place to help students who are finding it difficult to return to in-person learning for the first time since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. We do see far more students who are expressing concerns around their mental health, and we think a good first step is getting them back into school because oftentimes teachers are the first people to see some of those concerns. Mayor Lightfoot says when it comes to COVID-19 vaccinations for eligible high school students, there will be a process. First, convening a group of local experts to kind of walk through the science and the data and, and have our own assurances that the vaccines are safe because we're talking about young people and will obviously have to get their parents involved and get their approval. But we're excited about the prospects of getting our young people vaccinated. Now, when it comes to staffing, school CEO Janice Jackson says staffing is not going to be an issue. She says resources have been put in place. She also mentions that because of vaccinations and also some of the policies put in place, there are far less staff out on accommodations right now. Erica? Okay, so Suzanne, any word on how many high school students actually went back to the classrooms today? Erica, you know, we asked that question and they said they were going to get back to us with the answer. But at the same time, we looked up some of the most recent data from CPS and that shows that 140,000 students were planning to learn at home and 122,000 at school today. All right, Suzanne, thank you.